industry were in the hot seat from both sides of the aisle on Capitol Hill. The families of children who died as a result of harmful content on social media were also there. And Mark Zuckerberg addressed them directly. Take a look. There's families of victims here today. Have you apologized to the victims? I've would you like to do so now? Well, they're here. You're on national television. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? The things that your families have suffered. And this is why we invested so much and are going to continue doing these streaming efforts to make sure that. So, I mean, will this finally motivate big tech and the Senate to act? Because I, I what he should have also said is we have done nothing for 28 years, yeah. you know, and, you know, people are saying, oh, you got blood on your hands. Well, they all got blood on their hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, because they had the, they could have done something. Right. You know, Mark Zuckerberg was nine 28 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think what you're referring what to is the legislation. It's Section 30 of the Communications 230, and, uh, 230 of yeah. the um, thank you of the um, Communications and Decency Act. Mm -hmm. And basically, what that legislation found was that they are just called these. Instagram, all the social media sites, they're just third party platforms. They're not responsible for the content on it. They're just they're just a provider of free speech. And so what happens is then they have zero liability for what is put on them. So what they they had this whole Senate thing and it for me it just looked like political theater because we all know that the Supreme Court last year gave Twitter a pass, gave the social media forms yeah. uh, uh, forms they a given pass and they, 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 said, pass they said no, no problem. You don't have liability. And so, yes, Mark Zuckerberg is kind of robotic and he apologized. But what we need is corporations that want to be good corporate citizens, good corporate entities, and they just need to take it on themselves. Need better but, laws. Well, but they, they, we, they've got to change that law. Yes. It reminds me of the tobacco industry a little bit yeah. that also knew the harm that they were doing to people but didn't say anything until they got called out. It reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Zuckerberg and the rest of them are very, very much guilty. And there's nothing being done, even though in Europe they're doing a lot to counteract the mm -hmm. problems of the uh, internet. But having said that, it, it was struck me as like, so hypocritical. Lindsey Graham yelling, you have, you have blood, blood on your on hands, hands, when this man has taken tens of thousands of dollars from the NRA. Yep. What about those kids that the blood on his hands for those children who are shot in those schools? Yeah. So I don't want to listen to this virtue signaling from a bunch of liars. Senator Klobuchar said something, echoed what you said, Will mm -hmm. be about, like, let's look at ourselves. It's been 28 years. We haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. I agree. Bills need to be passed. A lot of them are so reasonable. It's about criminalizing if you're someone that passes along an inappropriate image, age verification, making sure they're not marketing the algorithm to our young kids. That's an important piece. This is, these are very simple fixes. Mm -hmm. The problem is it's the tech companies that are the brains behind this. And I'm not blaming it just on Mark Zuckerberg, although he is the one of the founders originally of Facebook. Yeah. All of these people have teams under them. And a lot of those people have come out as whistleblowers mm -hmm. in the Netflix documentary, The Social Network. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They come out and say none of these people would let their own children do this. So if you are making ba uh, money on the backs of our youth, sometimes under 12 years old, yeah. they make $2 billion in ad revenue. Mm -hmm. Under 12 years yeah. old. They are doing this to our youth. We need to put... I don't. We could see that Mark, the founder of Facebook, came out and he was pleading. He um, apologized. For those that lost their life during um, on Facebook because of the cost of Facebook, so he's apologizing. That's why the technology is working. They are trying every way to stop everything that is happening. So she was truly sorry, apologizing to the family. So Lizzie Graham was the one that asked um, him that you have to apologize. Your your not the national TV apologize. The women in the view come up with their own suggestion, their own point of view. According to Whoopi, um, Lizzie Graham don't have no right to tell um, Mark. According to Jebea, that Lizzie Graham don't have no right to tell Mark anything because he himself is not being saved. Other than Mark, she should he should just be quiet and not say anything. All of them are hypocrites. They work for self-interest. 
all of them all the social media everything so he was just against that that man cannot be the one correct them mark and then another um, because the families were with the pictures especially of children who some people committed suicide some because of pressure but it was the cause all along on facebook so mark was really apologizing um saying they are going that's why they are working better to stop all people they created it for something useful not for something harmful so they were really apologizing the social media they were apologizing for everything that happened basically mark was nine years old himself when everything started so um watching and over and over the people some of them explain that mark cannot be held responsible for what happened because he just created a platform but on that platform people create their own content on that content the people are the one who decide what they want to put out there so the people who create the content the community have to be blamed mark is not the one to be blamed so the argument was just going on and on because some people were very sad losing a loved one at that very tender age seeing all what was happening some people did not find that funny and they keep they didn't blame mark at all they be just like people who create tobacco people who create the harmful drugs according to them those people but that one is meant to kill so a mark is just creating something to help people mark is not the one creating it because he wants um the world to look the way it is now and all those type of stuff basically they all have different ag agreement different and uh, mark apologize according to some of them also they have to pull restriction ban people don't have to allow their younger children to use um those social media they don't have to they have to put a ban they talk about twitter was about to be banned but they keep fighting for it so but the lawmakers all all they are looking for is their own interest their own interest that time that someone can die in the process so basically no one can blame mark According to the women, they view Mark is free. Mark did it for his, according to some of them. But to some of them, they still blame him to a greater extent that he has to look for ways, especially children, not to even go on social media. They have to be stopped because most children go there and gain depression. So people go there and go and get many ideas, evil ideas on how to perform in a society. Basically, what do you think? Do you think that Mark is responsible for what happened to children? All those people take away their life on Facebook. So what do you really think? Or do you think that the people who create the content are the ones responsible? How can you think? What is your own suggestion? How can they do? Let me see your own comment on. Let me see your own suggestion on the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please help subscribe. And help share the video. God bless you.